Mom, why'd you marry that phony? What is wrong with you? Oh, I can't believe this. You must be the huh? Hopkins boy. Where'd you come from? We've been expecting you. Welcome to Bullworth Academy. Ah. I'm sure you'll be very happy here. Very happy indeed. Anyway, I can't spend my life waiting around for naughty little boys. I've got a man to make happy. The headmaster is expecting you, Hopkins, in his study. Okay. His study is over there, boy, in the main building. Don't keep Dr. Crabblesnitch waiting. He's a brilliant man. Brilliant. Must be Hopkins. Uh, uh huh. What? Uh huh. What? I meant yes, sir. Very good. Now let me see. You've done a lot of naughty things, haven't you? Vandalism, graffiti, bad language, violent conduct, disrespecting staff. Oh, I'm scared of you, Hopkins. Come on, give me a break. Yes, I've never met a boy like you. Never in all my life. Hopkins, you're quite the nastiest little boy I have ever encountered. Tell me, why should I waste my time on you? I don't know. Because it's my calling. It's what I do. You excel at causing trouble, and I excel at fixing little boys like you, at making you into respectable members of our community here at the Academy. I've got a good feeling about you, boy, a feeling you and I are going to be great friends. You keep that nose clean, boy. Or I shall clean it myself. Miss Danvers, are you back yet? Yes, Headmaster. And I got your tea. You are good to me, Miss Danvers. No more than you deserve, Headmaster. Take our new friend Hopkins here and show him around the school and get him properly attired. Certainly, Headmaster. Come along, boy. I haven't got all day. And boy, remember, you will have a clean nose. So keep it clean, or we'll clean it for you. So here I am at probably the worst school in the country, whose alumni are nothing but arms dealers, serial killers, and corporate lawyers. Real scum. And that old creep thinks he can tame me? We shall see, my friend. I only give people what they have coming to them. Where's your uniform, young Hopkins? Run along now, child. Bye, then. Ah, uh, stop it, pal! Dr. Crabble Better run, says weak sauce. Be nice to me. Please. You're gonna feel the pain! You wanna fight? Okay, so you wanna get beat down! Everyone, I'll catch this. 
Young man, go change immediately. Ah, oh, come on. Hey, you're the new kid. Yeah, what's it to you? Friendly, aren't you? Give me a break, loser. Hey, relax, friend. You're all pent up. Go easy, or they put you on medication. They did to me. Boy, you nearly sent me insane. That's fascinating. Now, if you'll excuse me. I said, me. relax, friend. Get off, man. Listen to me, tough guy. You just arrived at the toughest school in the country, and I'm offering to be your friend. Trust me, in a place like this, you're gonna need friends. So it's up to you. You gonna play nice or what? Yeah, sure. Good. So how about I show you around? We don't have a bar in the door, just a soda machine. Greetings, friend. Come on, you should probably change rush. into your uniform if you don't want to get in trouble. Ah, Go carbonation! On. Funny pants! Hey, how you doing? You must be the new kid. I'm Pete. Pete Kowalski. Jimmy Hopkins, and don't ask how I'm doing. I've been here five minutes, and already people want me dead. Even my parents didn't hate me this quickly. Well, welcome to Bullworth. It's a dump. Great. I've been expelled from anywhere halfway decent. Yeah, I've been expelled from anywhere halfway decent, because I'm really bad. Give up the tough guy act, pal. Hey, man, what's your problem? Well, ADD primarily, but also life. My parents, this school, Western civilization, but really, honestly, enough about me? Oh, I see you've met the dorm's mascot. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Femboy, the girliest boy in school. Petey, haven't you got some imaginary friends to go annoy? Why don't you leave me alone, Gary? <laughs> Look at you. Leave me alone, Gary. I'm really self-important now that I finally hit puberty. What's your problem? I'm just being nice to the new kid as he passes through Bullworth on his inevitable journey to prison. Look, I gotta unpack. Would you guys mind getting out of here? <laughs> oh, now look what you've done, Pete. Jimmy can't stand you already. What's going on? You okay? Aliens hey jump. there. I'm hungry already. Let's prove how tough I feel a bit sick. <laughs> What's I think your I lie down. <laughs> Nothing personal. <laughs> That's just beneath me. Jimmy, let me show you around. Can't fight. Where is it?
That's Russell's locker. You know, the big ape who almost put you in the hospital. Word stupid! Pulverizing good! Come on, we don't have to fight. You! Cash! Now! Aw, oh, please! Scar's face! Kneel before Russell! Next time you give more, doofus! Come on! Let's break into it and steal something. That'll teach him. Don't let the prefects see you break any rules. They'll hurt you. Well done! just made a serious mistake! Like I want to stick to friendship. Why do they give us so much homework? Life is so What in crap are you wearing? <laughs> hey Hopkins, you psychotic gill! Oh, this way! way. Weird chick Eunice. Let's have some fun with her. Go! See what she wants. Hi. He took my chocolate! Please get it back. Show you the ropes. There he is. Show him what you're made of, Jimmy. Whoa! Take this stupid chocolate. Time at the zoo. Okay, here's the deal. Over there we got the nerds. Of course, they're complete social outcasts. They look pretty harmless. They're actually sneaky bastards. Their turf is the library. And those are the preps. They're all money and condescending attitudes. Yeah, massively inbred and completely brainless. Very observant, Jimmy boy. Now over there are the greasers. They think they're tough. Or at least try to look tough. Wouldn't advise messing with them, at least not yet. They hang by the auto shop. And last but not least, the jocks. These guys rule the school. Definitely avoid them. Whatever, I'm not afraid of some dumb roid monkeys. You'll learn. Come on, let's go. You're here to learn, not to goof off. Get to class. in here.
Oh, right. Class. Take care to follow my instructions precisely, as we will be working with volatile chemicals today. Fascinating, isn't it? Good job. Keep paying attention. Keep up the good work. You're almost done. Satisfactory work, James. I'll see you next time. I kick it. And that's that. <laughs> <laughs>